Hi there, awesome friends. Welcome back. So this tutorial today, especially for all the men that follow my YouTube channel and that participate in our taper tag group on Facebook. Anyway, I hope you're going to enjoy this little bit of fun. Today we're going to create ATC and we're going to use two different techniques. Okie dokie. So first of all, I wanted to show you that I had these lovely little stickers from your these must be over 10 years old and I was tidying up and I found them and I thought mm, I love the little robots very cute so I made a photocopy and remember be aware of copyright issues you can't really photocopy other people's work and sell it so I'm not selling it I'm using it for a different way but I love the little robots and I have created two use them as a template so let me show you how I did that scrap piece of 70 micron thick metal tape and let's copy one or two of them and I really find that using a ballpoint pen works best and roughly trace your little robot or your pattern or your flower whatever you have just roughly trace it I'm not very good at drawing. You know, we've all got our talents, and I'm afraid drawing isn't one of mine. But use what you've got. Use the talents you've got and have fun. If you can freehand draw, that's great. Then you don't have to do this. Okay. So I now have a very rough little drawing there and I go over it again with my pen. Ballpoint pen is better than any of the pewter tools or tools that we would normally use because it glides over the thick tape really easily. Now I'm freehand decorating my little robot. Remember, the more lines or patterns you have, the better your ink will stick. And his little legs, and his little knobbly knees. And there's our cute little robot guy. So let's ink it. And I'll leave it aside to dry. Okay. I've already done these two. And we are going to make our ATC. I want to try something different today. So let's have a look. And I have not prepared this before so it's going to be hit and miss um, sometimes the ideas I have in my head don't quite work out but you've got to try them anyway and I'm sticking my little robot man in the middle so this is a great um, project to do with that, those scraps of 70 micron tape so I've done that I want to use this little piece of, of tape that I have and you can see on here are some alcohol or some alcohol ink and a little bit of black ink. And I want to clean that. I'm using some acetone to do that, to just clean the edges. And I need to get my workbook. Sorry, I don't want to mess on my craft mat. So yes, acetone works really well to clean all the ink off your tape. So here we go, that's done. Now, I haven't used any of these fancy rulers, and these are rulers I've had for probably, I'm not exaggerating, maybe 15 years. And I thought, what can we do with them? And I had a great idea. So we are going to use the zigzag, which I think is really cute. But 
you know, if you don't have a ruler, a fancy ruler, you can actually just use a piece of card and create your own pattern. So use a piece of card if you don't. And all I'm doing is tracing my zigzag. I want to have little pieces like this. And I thought I'd show you my process because everyone thinks I'm so organized, but I have a very disorganized mind. So. That's all I've done. And now I'm going to cut out my little strips. And you can see I'm not very tidy. I'm not too concerned about that. And here we go. These sticky scissors. I find the zigzag is easier to cut than any of the other patterns. Give it a try. I'm sure you could use your craft knife to cut this, but I'm using my, my little scissors. I absolutely love these little scissors. Okay, and here you can see I am not coloring this in. So let's have a look. Put a piece over there. And the nice thing is that you can use both sides of the piece that you've cut out. So here we go again. Another little zigzag, another little zigzag, and let's cut this one. And once again, this is a great way to use up those little bits and pieces that you have and create something fun. So we remove our backing. Anyway, I want to put this. Okay, I want to show you. You can see that there's a little gap there. Don't worry too much about it because remember we're going to cover that edge. So all I'm going to do now is layer these pieces on. Little zigzag strips. Also a lovely way to, once again, create some interest. Okay, making a bit of a mess here. And then I actually think I was going to use two straight strips, but let's keep with the zigzaggies. And then here. Yeah. And 
we need a few more strips. So if you get a piece of tape, sorry, very unprepared again today. I thought I had enough. This is a thin tack. Guys, I'm disorganized. Very disorganized tech. So if I can show you, this is very sloppy. Can you see? This is the 30 micron and this is quite firm and this is the 70 micron. So just using my scraps, I've got a box full of scraps here. Once again, we are going to draw our pattern. Or trace our zigzag. Okay. So remember, we're using the thick metal tape, the 70 micron tape. And I cut our zigzag. And using up all those bits and pieces, those scraps. I'm having some fun, trying something new, thinking out the box. And there we go. And I think we need one more zigzag. So let's just do that. Here we go. What are you doing on this very busy day? <laughs> I am, apart from crafting, I'm trying to plan a going away trip. Although it is only for five days, it's a road trip and it's far. And yeah, I've got a lot on my plate at the moment, but you know, never enough time to craft. I think that's our complaint for most of us, never enough time to craft. Okay, we've done that. There you go. Okay. And I can see that I have a little gap here. I'll show you. Now we can put something else there. I'll lift the card now. Okay. And I still need one more piece. Okay. Nearly done, guys. Don't need all that excess. And so often um Creative people think they don't have all the tools to do stuff. And we follow so many other creative pages that you think, oh, I don't have that, so I can't do this. I truly try and create tutorials where we are using nothing. 
In other words, what you have. You don't have to rush out to buy the next latest thing. And sure, it is nice having those next latest things, but how often do we buy that new must-have item and then we hardly use it? to line that up like so. Nope, didn't get it quite straight. Okay. And now to trim it from the back. I think this card's going to be really cute all the different layers and using up all our scraps we make something very cute and different I think so I've had a few friends um, ask me to do specific tutorials and um, I've got to get the right mindset before I do those it's very difficult to emulate other people um, I always like to put my own creative spin on it otherwise you can really just go and follow another creative person on on YouTube for ideas we've all got to try and be original I like to think of us as um, we are all a little complicated and we are all complicated originals okay so we've done this it's finished however I have got a mistake uh, not a mistake but I have a little gap there where I didn't put my tape and we just be creative and use a scrap to cover that. I'm freehanding now to create a little zigzag because I honestly don't want to and make it a bit shorter. Think that'll be fine so just go with the flow remember nobody knows your process nobody knows what's right or wrong and all art is an experiment all art is an experiment sometimes our experiments fail miserably i've just realized that i've cut this on thin tape can you see how floppy the tape is so I need to cut it on thick tape. No wonder I couldn't separate it. So here we go again. See, the process of an untidy mind. Okay, that's, that's better. And the thick tape is much more um, sturdy and easier to handle. Okie dokie. So I've covered that little bit in there. I think it looks fine. And smooth it with my card. Make sure that there are no other little gaps. And you can see there is a little gap there. And no worries. We are just going to put a strip. So this is a mishmash layer of goodies. And we put a strip on this corner, so I don't know, maybe I need to put a strip on every corner so that they look uniform. There we go. I like everything to match. I cut three of those. I have no idea what I did with the other piece. I have to cut another piece. Oh, there it is. Stuck on the scissors. Okay. Snip that down nicely and trim it from the back again. Okay, 
Okay, so there's our little guy. Um, you can obviously ink this background as well, but I actually think I kind of like the interest because you've really got to look at it to see all the designs. It's like a little secret design. I hope you enjoyed that and let's see what you do with your zigzag ruler or your handmade cardboard ruler. Um, can't wait to see your creations. Take care.